Jamie, when Justin Garrity returned home from Iraq in 2008, he tried all conventional methods toward finding a job, but at every turn, nothing. Well, then he decided it was time to chart his own path. It's a cool, crisp morning, not a cloud in the sky, and they're already hard at work at Justin Garrity's compost farm outside Aberdeen. Dozers are hauling their steamy loads, and the trucks are already off, gathering discarded scraps and food from local businesses. Two-thirds of everything that gets thrown away in America every day is compostable. It's been a long road for this 33-year-old retired Army captain, one taking him around the world to South Korea, Kuwait, and northern Iraq back in 2008. So we worked in northern Iraq, everything north of Baghdad, doing uh, assured mobility. Garrity explains those responsibilities as keeping the roads clear of bombs, IEDs, and landmines. In our area that we operated in, my unit, one in every four bombs in Iraq was in our area, so we owned a fair amount of, of the stuff. Those duties earned Garrity a bronze star and a commendation medal for his team's work protecting service members in the field. Missions, he says, were critical toward protecting his friends. The camaraderie, you know, is unlike anything else. I mean, I've done sports and fraternity and things like that, but it's unmatched by, you know, what you experience in the military. In late 2008, Captain Garrity decided it was time for a change. I wanted to be near my family, so I moved back home and joined the National Guard and did five years in the National Guard. He also needed a job, something he found harder than expected. Our resumes don't translate well, um, and I appreciate everyone has nice things to say to me and thanks me for my service, but when the rubber meets the road to get a job, it's difficult. Faced with a challenge, Garrity applied his military training to work the problem. He chose the entrepreneur route and began researching sustainable businesses, finding his way to composting. So have you always been a dirt guy? No, nah, man, I grew up near the mall in Columbia, so I'm not some hippie family kind of guy. I uh, own five Ford trucks and eat steak, you know? By American? Yeah, man, what else can you do? As he recalls, that beginning wasn't exactly what he envisioned. I wish there was some awesome, like, Edison light bulb moment, but... Um, we only made like we only made three hundred fifty dollars the first six months. But Garrity stayed the course, and today, six years after going to work for himself, he's now up with the chickens, managing two compost farms, one here in Harford County, the other in Fairfax, Virginia. Just adds up, day after day after day. I mean, the bins just come and come and come. Along the way, he's earned the respect of small business owners like Kim Roman, who saw the value of Garrity's product immediately. I know when I'm dealing with the military that it's going to be on time. It's going to be the best that you can possibly give to someone else. Once we leave the service, we still want to serve. That one light green over there is a, is a monster, man. Where else could you uh, take a bunch of trash that someone pays you to haul away and turn around and sell it by making compost out of it? So with the business now off and running, what does Garrity see when he looks down the road now? And then you look around, we have a lot of people and equipment here, and we've grown from, from literally nothing to something. But it's a grind. It's been a grind. It'll probably continue to be a grind for a long time. But that's just kind of the way it goes. You know, no one owes us anything. We don't want any handouts or anybody's uh, freebies, and, you know, we're going to do it uh, one way or another. And with only one of three private composting permits in Maryland, Garrity says he now has a big vision for his business. So we're just providing oxygen. It's a big eighth grade science project. And an ending fitting for someone who sacrificed so much for his country. And our goal is to build a facility in every county. Man, let's hope this makes a million dollars, right? So it would be a sad, sad story if it ends with me just with a pile of dirt behind me. So they had a lot of popcorn this time around. I think this is all for that Penn State game. Penn State. It was a great few hours we spent there with Garrity, but to put a real exclamation point on the story, now, we told you about the co compost farms being fully staffed, but it's his employees, Jamie. They're returning veterans and their family members. He says it was important for him to remember what he dealt with six years ago, making sure those returning heroes back home have a shot at work when they get here.